hello everyone very warm welcome to the channel i'm very excited to share this video with you because not only this video is quite technically useful in my humble opinion but it will also give you an idea why and how we have progressed so much when it comes to text to image models we all know and love this flux one dev model from black forest labs and in this video, you will realize why I believe that Flux1 dev model is the best thing what has happened in the last one year or so when it comes to text to image models. If you have been playing around with Stable Diffusion 1, 1.5 or STXL models, then you can really appreciate the value which Flux models have brought to the table. Anyway. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to install Flux1 Dev here. Don't worry. We already have done that in this video. Not only Flux1 Dev, but also Chanel and all the rest of the stuff we have done. A lot of videos on Flux1 Dev. In this video, what I'm going to show you is a LoRa which has been built on top of this Flux1 model. This LoRa is called as Turbo. This has been built by alibaba creative which seems like a, a subsidiary of alibaba.com and the quality of this lora or lora adaptation model is simply sublime so if you go to their hugging face page and look at these images they are of very very high quality let me make it a bit bigger there you go and this is what i'm going to show you how you can get these if you have played around with flux you might notice that the quality of flux is really good especially when it comes to uh, putting text on top of images that and this LoRa or LoRa adaptation model which is simply an adapter on top of flux one dev model just takes it to next level and that is what i'm going to show you now this LoRa which is called as turbo alpha it does two things first it generates images from text secondly it also allows you to do the in painting which simply man, means that you mask an area on the image and then you change it to something else for example if you want to um, change the hair color or if you want to put a t-shirt on a person who is wearing something else then you can easily do so with the help of in painting in this video i'm not going to touch in painting that will be the topic of next video and that because it's a bit big i want to take you step by step so that if you want to do it you should be able to do it too so in this video, I'm just going to uh, introduce you to this Flux1 Turbo Alpha and we will also be generating images from text prompt and you will also see the quality of it. Now, if you're wondering what exactly this um, LoRa is or what this Turbo is, when we say LoRa, it is LoRaq adaptation. So what happens is that we have this Flux1 Dove model, right? This one, it's a generic model. It can do a lot of things. But if we want to train this flux one model on a specific set of images or specific use case we create a lora on top of it which is a low rank adaptation model just small model and that we use that lora to make sure that we generate the images from flux as per our own use case so that or in other words we basically fine-tune the model on our own data set so that is what this lora is doing so not only it is generating very high quality images it is also enabling you to do the in painting, but that will be for the next one. Also, this LoRa has been trained on 1 million open source and internal source images by Alibaba with the aesthetic 6.3 plus and resolution greater than 800. So this is the key of this LoRa that it really takes the aesthetics of the images to the next level. Okay. Now, before we move forward, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Okay, so that said and done, I will be using Comfy UI for this video. Again, if you don't know what Comfy UI is, just go to my channel and just type Comfy UI here, and then you will see these are the videos. I would highly suggest you go with this second video which says easiest tutorial on comfy ui if you have never installed or worked with Com comfy ui this should help you a lot so i already have comfy ui installed now we are going to uh, generate or use this 
LoRa with Flux model on our local system. Now, I already have Flux model and this LoRa installed. Let me tell you how can you do that. I'm not going to go into the detail because that you can check out in that my Comfy UI video which I just showed you. And also I have done the video on LoRa but just a quick review. So for the Flux one dev model, go to the hugging face page of this Flux model, go to files. And then from these files, these are the Flux one dev tensor. You would need to download them to the checkpoint folder in Comfy UI. So for that, uh, for example, you will click here, you will scroll down and then you will click on download and then save link as and in the comfy UI models you will go to checkpoints and save it here or um, you see that there's a sorry you will save it in the unit folder my apologies now similarly there are a few other files which you need to download for flux as I said please search my channel I have done a huge very easy video on flux installation on comfy which you should be following now for the next one you need to download this LoRa for that one again go to its page and I will drop the link to it in video description click on files scroll down and you will see this is a file which says save tensors here click on it and then right click download or save link as from here go to comfy UI models LoRa's folder so if you go to models folder there will be a LoRa's folder there just save it like this so i already have saved it diffusion by dodge models and so it's already there so i have downloaded both the actual base model and the lora so we are all set now let's create a workflow node based workflow in compu ui to install this lora and attach it with our flux model to see how it works first up let's go and just click on load default on the right it is going to uh, load the default workload for you now i have just downloaded loaded it but we really don't need much of it this is just a placeholder so i'm just going to delete this load checkpoint from the left for that i'm just going to double click here and i'm just going to search for load diffusion model let's put it here load diffusion model and then it has already automatically selected your flux dev save tensor from unit folder that is done and then I'm just going to move it slightly here. My, I know that I fumble a bit with these nodes, but you know, I just want to keep it raw so that because you will be doing the same. I just want to show you show you that you're not alone. Anyway, so this is done. Just click on this um, model, drag this line here, and then search, and just say load Laura. It's already selected so we don't have to worry about it so it's already selected and you see it has already selected your diffusion pytorch model which you downloaded so our laura is set now for the clip one just uh, attach this clip to this clip which is already there and we will this is a basically the prompt here and if you don't know what this clip is laura text and code sampler i have done uh, very detailed video on all of these so please search i will also give you a quick overview when we are done with it so that is done let me i don't need the another clip so i'm just deleting it just click and delete now on the left hand side we also need another clip because we for this one we have two clip loaders so just type dual clip loader and how do you know these things well practice or just following this video this is a standard for flex um, flux model so you see as soon as i selected it just go here select the these are the clip models which we already have downloaded from that hugging space as i said watch that flux one video with comfy ui and just keep this selected and instead of stxl make sure you have selected the flux here that is done and from this clip just attach you this clip so our clip loader is done Next up, we need to load a variational autoencoder, which primarily means that it is going to convert uh, our or load our VAE, which is another model, which is used for converting the image from latent space to pixel space. So it's already selected. This is the one again from Hugging Face, and you will find all of these in Hugging Face page on this Flux model one. 
and I have shared it in my other video. So we just need to connect this VAE to this VAE where it is decoding it. And that is also done. And we have our empty latent image. Let's put it here. This just creates a latent image. And remember that Flux model and the STXL, they both work on 1024 size images. 512 was for ST stable diffusion 1.45. So I have just done this and batch, let's keep batch size to one, which means it will only generate one images. So that is done. Let's move case sampler here, which is the actual node which generates the images. And now let's keep the seed as is. Um, yeah, that is fine. Keep it to randomize and then steps 20, which is the number of steps it, it is going to take to denoise the image. And then the prompt adherence or the CFG will be eight. Sampler name Euler is fine. I'll just go with simple. And then Dino is this one is fine. You can go with other samplers too. And if you don't know what these sampler schedulers are, you need you know what you need to do. You need to just search on my channel. Okay, so that is done. VAD code is done. It is all connected. And now one thing we need to do, we need to connect this model here from LoRa to this sampler, and then I will also uh, attach this conditioning to this negative prompt because it's the same. We don't need different ones. So everything looks attached. Also, I'm just going to delete this save image. I'm just going to replace it with preview image because we just want to preview it. And I'm just going to put it here for now. I know that this could be beautified and it could be, I could have make it more prettier but anyway with the reroutes but that is fine so i'm just going to connect this image here so everything is connected our models are loaded and our lora is also loaded so let's try to generate an image from here and i have run it and look at the quality of the image the prompt was simply beautiful scenery nature glass bottle landscape purple galaxy bottle look at this and there is no upscaling here. There is no detailing here. It's all simple, our flux model. On top of that, this Laura has added these aesthetics, this turbo one, and that is the beauty of it. Now, this is what I was referring to when I was starting my video, that normally if you have used Stable Diffusion 1.5 STXL, you, and you have dealt with Comfy UI, and you have, um, so you might have noticed that people add lot of nodes there, they make multiple passes through case samplers. There are a lot of upscalers. There are control nets. There are IP adapters, lot of stuff. They still are valid. I'm not saying they are not, but Flux model plus these sort of LoRa's has made it so easy to, for uh, you know us mere mortals who really don't want to spend hours and hours getting these noises right, strengths right, and all of this, you can just simply see that with one text prompt this has just thrown it out of the park so this is what i was referring to that flux is really a game changer here let's try out a big prompt i'm just going to click on q prompt while it runs so i'm asking it a serene and vibrant image of the amalfi coast in italy at sunrise the picturesque town of Positano with its colorful terracotta roofed houses and churches cascading down the hillside surrounded by lush greenery and towering cliffs. In the foreground, a traditional Italian wooden boat is moored in the crystal clear turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea. With the island of Likali visible in the distance, capture the warm golden light of the rising sun, casting a gentle glow on the scene with a few wispy clouds scattered across the sky. Look there, how good is that? How good is that? With simple text prompt, nothing upscaling or detailing has been done. By the way, I have used few de detailers with it. Yes, it made a bit difference, but still, even without detailers, look at this beauty. Look at this amazing, look at the water, look at this orange mooring here. Amazing stuff. Look at the board. Everything is so good. Okay, let me try a few more prompts. And let's try out another one. So if you see here, I will also let it run. But so 
The emasculate Albert Einstein, dressed in his signature rumpled attire, sits at a cluttered wooden desk surrounded by swirling equations, scattered papers and half-filled pipes. He gazes thoughtfully at a classic blackboard filled with complex math upon which he has scribbled subscribe to Fahad's channel in bold white chalk soft golden light pours through the window illuminating his wispy hair and iconic mustache now this is another thing other model like stxl st 1.5 struggle a lot when they have to write a text but not the flux there you go you see so, subscribe to fahad's channel so how good is that so this is really good so i think you should listen to albert einstein Okay, let's try out one last one. So, <clears throat> in the next one, I am just giving it a scene on a sun-kissed tropical beach. Now, for that, let's try out with another um, sampler. So, I'm just going to maybe go with this DPMM UMSTE, which is a converging one. And with this, I normally use Keras. So, let's go with the Keras one. So, let's click on QPROM. And this is slightly faster than the previous one the Euler one and let's see how it goes also you can try out with increasing the steps and rest looks fine to me let's wait for it to come back and it is almost there you see this sampler is not good with this one so and you can get this from their uh, model car too so now let's go back with the Euler, convert into simple and let's try again. And randomize means that every time you will generate the image, it will be a different image. If you want to keep the same image every time, but with different configuration, just change this to fixed. Let's see what it does this time. And there you go. So this time again, so with this sampler scheduler perfectly well and yes he is not looking here he, he, but that is fine and you see there is a surfer there is a bird and of course this image can be improved of, and you would have to maybe you can increase the steps from here like you can say 30 and this will be this will take a bit more time and you can just say here that okay uh, you want to change that you want to change it and then you want this man to look towards the camera so there are a lot of things you can do for example i'm just going to select with 30 steps what it does i'm just going to show you so the point of the matter is that uh, if something is not working don't worry just keep changing these configurations and play around with it and if you want to know what exactly these mean you can check out my channel for the further videos before I it completes, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its Python SDK and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page, it is resilient, reusable and structures the output according to the shape of your query. So do check them out. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's see what it does. There you go. You see, for the steps, bit better. Now it is on the surfboard. And of course, we can play around with it. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I'm very, very um, impressed by the quality of images this Flux 1 Turbo Alpha has generated. Let me know your thoughts. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for all the support and watching.